Hello, my name is Nicholas Edwards and I'm going to be going through the history, the mechanism and some useful applications of the Stille type cross coupling reaction. So what actually is a Stille type cross coupling reaction? A Stille type cross coupling reaction is a reaction whereby an organohalite is reacted with an organostanin using a palladium catalyst to give a coupled product. If you look in the top left, you can see the general reaction scheme. We have the organohalide, which you can see is R1. The, the halide group of that compound gets replaced with R2 of the tin complex. The main use for these types of reactions is in the, the manufacture of polymers or organic synthesis. The first proper stille reaction cross coupling was first discovered in 1977 by John K. Stille and David Milstein. The reaction is mainly used in pharmaceuticals. So now I'm going to talk a bit about where this reaction comes from, its history and where it is today. So the beginnings. The first known use of a Stille reaction was in 1976 when a chemist called Colin Arbonne was trying to synthesize dairy products. The yields produced were from 7 to 53 percent of the desired product. Then in 1977 this process was further expanded to the coupling of acyl chlorides with the alkyl tin reagents yielding 53 to 87 percent of the desired ketone product. This was done by a chemist called Migata. After this discovery he worked with a chemist called Kosugi and went on to further substitute other reactions. He has a type of stilly reaction named after him called the Migata Kusugi Stilly Coupling. And by the 1980s, there was over 65 papers on this type of reaction. Later on in the reaction's life, Migata continued his work and later on he managed to couple aryl and acyl halides with allyl tin reagents. He did this at low temperatures as the allyls were more effective at interacting with the catalyst. However, the yields were very inconsistent, ranging from 4 to 100 percent. You can see in the bottom there's a photo of the types of reactions he would do. You can see you have an acyl chloride and you're coupling it together with another R group. Even more later on in the reaction's life. In 1978, after seeing Migata's work, Stille published a paper on the successful coupling of many alkyl tin reagents with myriad acyl and aerial halides. He was able to do this under even milder conditions with a more constant yield of roughly 76 to 99%. And this reaction is still used to this day. At the very bottom of the page, you can see a benzene ring with a Y group and a Cl group attached. If you add some tin allyl complex to this, you can see the chlorine group gets substituted for the allyl group forming the desired benzene product. Now that we've seen a little bit on the history of this reaction, I'm going to talk about the applications and where this can be used in industry. The first thing I'm going to talk about is quad ridge MINC. During the 19 step synthesis of quad ridge MINC, a double stilly cross metathesis reaction is utilized. This is done in order to couple two aryl iodine groups to the main product after the double hex cyclization is achieved. If you look to the photo on the bottom left, you can see where the tin complexes come into play and you can see a lot of similarities to the previous reactions. However, there are many different ones. If you look at the bottom photo on the bottom right, you can see where the two iodine groups get attached and that's, that's where this reaction is utilized. So the next industrial process I'm going to talk about is the manufacture of ansamycin. Stilly type macrocycle coupling is utilized during the Planck's 32 step enantioselective total synthesis to produce ansamycin antibiotic cross. In this reaction, the two groups are attached to an alkene and the organostanistin 
joins the two ends of the linear starting material to form a macrocycle. The yield for this step is 54%. Now in the bottom photo, you can still see the same principles that we've gone through before. You can see the tin complexes, and you can see where they join the two molecules together to form the desired product. Now I've only spoken about a few select examples of where this is utilised in industry. There are many examples of where this reaction is used worldwide in all sorts of areas of study. Now from top left we have a few more examples. So we have oxazolomycin, then we have lacacidin C, on amide A, calicumin A, lepsidin A, Reposstrain A. Hmm. And you can see them going from bottom top left to bottom right in order. So now we have the mechanism for the cross coupling catalytic cycle. I put a key on the top left so you can see what I'm referring back to when I say R, R1, R2, or X. Now the first section of the catalytic cycle is the oxidative addition of the organohalide from the lead zero to the lead two complex, going from 14 to 16 electrons. It has been suggested that an anionic ligand such as OAC can speed up the reaction. It does this by making the lead more nucleophilic. Then the organostanostin undergoes transmethylation, whereby the halide ion on the palladium gets replaced by the R group of one of the organostanistin. Finally, reductive elimination produces the coupled product and regenerates the catalyst so the cycle can begin again. If you look to the middle left, you can see a rate of this reaction is affected, with alkyl being the least effective and alkynyl being the most effective. To increase the rate, a solvent with strong polarity can be added, such as DMF. Lithium chloride is often added to the reaction as it stabilizes the intermediate formed by oxidative addition of the catalyst and this can also increase the rate. Now this reaction is usually done under inert conditions. For example, a degassed dehydrated solvent. Now the reason for this is because oxygen oxidizes the palladium catalyst which promotes homocoupling of the organic Stanley compounds. Now all these side reactions together decrease the yield as because you're not producing the desired product. Normally as a tin complex, either a trimethyl stanyl or tributyl stanyl is usually used. Trimethyl stanyl will give a faster reaction and possibly a higher yield. However, it is about a thousand times more toxic. So it should be avoided unless absolutely necessary. So that's my presentation on stilly type cross coupling. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something from it. Thank you very much.